Hey everyone, I'm Dana, an electrical engineer here at ClearPath Robotics, and today I'm excited to introduce to you the latest member of our robot fleet, Dingo! Dingo is our smallest, most cost-effective and modular, ROS-supported indoor mobile robot for research and education. With a variety of customizable computing and power options, Dingo is suitable for many robotics research applications such as mapping and navigation, multi-robotic systems, mobile manipulation, and much more. The lower price point of the Dingo makes it a perfect choice for educational institutions looking to outfit an entire lab full of robots for teaching, as well as research groups that are interested in investigating multi-robot systems. Dingo comes in two different models, Dingo O and Dingo D. D, which stands for differential, has two driven wheels which allow it to skid steer, while Dingo O, the omnidirectional version, has four mechanum wheels. This omnidirectional characteristic allows it to move laterally in any direction, which is perfect for tight spaces indoors. So Dingo is made primarily of aluminum, which allows it to be durable and strong, but also lightweight. A base model Dingo O has a weight of about 20 kilograms with a payload capacity of 25, while a Dingo D has a weight of 16 kilograms with a payload capacity of 20. Both Dingo D and Dingo O have a top speed of 1.3 meters per second. So taking a tour around the outside of the robot, starting off in the back here, we have our button panel. It's got a power button as well as a motor disable button. Um, it also features status LEDs for your battery power and the connection to Wi-Fi, as well as between uh, ROS and the computer. Up top here we have two antennas, one's for Wi-Fi and one's for Bluetooth, which connects to the controller. Dingo has four illuminated corner lights, and one cool feature is the center channel, which gives you all sorts of payload mounting options for LiDARs, or manipulators, and cameras. So another cool feature about Dingo is that its top and side covers have been designed to be completely toolless. If we open the top here, you can see that the Dingo O offers four configurable module bays. This one specifically has been equipped with an NVIDIA Xavier computer and three lead-acid battery modules. So once you get the top of your Dingo open, you can see a number of different modules. The Dingo O chassis allows you to choose up to four modules, whereas the Dingo D allows you to choose up to two. This robot specifically has been equipped with an NVIDIA Xavier computer and three lead-acid battery modules, but ClearPath offers a variety of other ones as well. You could choose to use lithium batteries if you wanted to extend your runtime while decreasing the weight of your robot, and we even offer mini ITX motherboards if you want a faster performing computer. So carrying on with the disassembly, if we remove the side panel, you can see that the battery modules are hot swappable, which allows you to slide the battery out and back in without any special tools. These batteries are hot swappable, so you could take them out and charge them and then reintroduce them the next day. So coming back to the center channel of the robot here, um, if you notice in the top, there's cutouts which allow you to pass cables through to the payload that you would be integrating on top. If you were to remove the top cover, inside you would see the MCU unit of the robot, the main control unit. Uh, this, this board has the microcontroller which runs the firmware for the robot, but it also does all the power conditioning and switching. It allows users to break out uh, 12 and 5 volts regulated for powering their payload, and um, we've designed it such that it's easily accessible from the compute and battery modules. So in this, this case particularly, we've integrated an NVIDIA Xavier computer, and there's a cutout in the side channel which allows you to pass your power and Ethernet and USB cables between the two. However, for the mini ITX module, the I.O. plate would be mounted within this cutout and accessible from within the center channel for easy access to connect your payloads. Now, like all our other robots, the Dingo comes pre-installed and configured with ROS and supports any ROS library that you might need to use for your application. Um, it also supports Gazebo, Arviz, and MoveIt. And to help you get started quickly, ClearPath offers a variety of ROS and Dingo-specific tutorials. 
So thanks for coming along with me today to take a look at the Dingo, our new robot, a cost-effective, ultra-modular and extensible ROS-supported indoor research robot. If you're interested in getting your own Dingo D or O, be sure to go to clearpathrobotics.com for more information. And also be sure to hit the subscribe and like button for more updates in the future.